damn it, I missed it. I wanted to prove, <sighs> shit, I blew it. I didn't have the video out, but so I had it under uh, vacuum. It stabilized at 970 grams, uh, grams, uh, microns. And I just started putting a uh, refrigerant back in the system because I want to see how this ran because the customer says, do not change or fix anything. And nitrogen press, because I guess if you put the nitrogen in too fast and you pass the area pressure of where it leaks, it will pass a test. And it actually, and I got something all over my lens. My lens are really dirty. You see all the little spots on there? I got oil everywhere. Um, it passed the nitrogen pest. It was holding at 996 microns. And I go, okay, I'm gonna fill this up and run it for a while and give you guys a show since this had zero PSI and it was completely empty. And as I was filling it, and I should have had the camera on, it just started pissing out like a three inch long spew of refrigerant coming out. Liquid refrigerant was coming out because I was putting liquid refrigerant in the high side line, was coming out from the O-ring room. And then it just stopped. It was just like two seconds, a really big straight shot of refrigerant shooting out. And it has now stopped. I wonder how it does with um, gobbly goo on there. Uh, let's put a little gobbly goo on there so we'll get a little of this let me get you guys from being dizzy here and get it back out 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 come on i have my gloves on it doesn't like to uh be nice okay get my stream there we go so this was just pissing out i haven't started it yet let's see what we see down there yes now Let's see if this is one of those ones that if I charge it up, it leaks. Now, this takes some time. This is intentional, and I'm doing this as a demo uh, to show you guys. It's too bad I missed. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, there it goes again. It stopped for a second. All right, so let's start it up and uh, see how this goes because this is fun. I have a little time today to play an experiment. So I will. It's just enough time for this one job only. Shit. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Should start. Uh, auto. There. Mode. Where's my mode? Okay. There. 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 Fan speed all the way. Make sure we're all on. All these are level, open, open them all the way, full airflow. It's it's about 115, 120 inside here. The, well, the dash is about 140. That burnt my forearm. So let's see what happened out here. Okay, we're looking at that leak. Remember that blowing out? There's dye in here. Where's all the dye? Where's the oil? Where's the refrigerant? So, let's get this back in there. I'm gonna do this live on TV and like, why do I keep shutting off? I have a bad habit of shutting these off like they should be. And then when I wanna do a video, I have to re turn off. Where's the leak? Tell me there's a little, there's gotta be a little, little, little leak. There we go. We proved it. It's still there. It hasn't stopped. Sometimes they stop all the way. See that little tiny bubble right there? See that little bubble. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's, there's a little bubble there. Come on, come back, little bubble. You see where I'm talking about, right? Right there. At that point, that's where it was spewing out, right there. So you can see it's running, and the leak is gone. That's it. So I'm gonna leak test the rest of the thing, and uh, I gotta open up all the doors and windows, and everything, because it squirted out a long stream of liquid refrigerant. And so now that'll just like totally mess up me looking for leaks under the dash. So I gotta totally open it up, air out, make sure there's no refrigerant under there. But he had zero PSI. 
And uh, since I like to play and experiment on vehicles, because I can afford to, I'm not under pressure from a boss or a service manager or service writer saying, hey, get that next car out. This, 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 this. We need profits, we need a bonus. You gotta hit your numbers, otherwise you're not gonna get your raise or your bonus. I don't have that problem. So I could experiment as many times a day that I want and uh, play around so long as I'm not too late on the other jobs I have. Usually could do one a day and waste a little time on. So we'll play with this one. Let's give it some RPMs. Let's uh, crank that puppy up there. 2,500 RPMs. There we go. Like we're cruising down the freeway. I want to build up the high side pressure. I want that compressor to get hot. I want to flow the refrigerant UV dye around the system. I want to get this on fresh air now because I know I don't have no refrigerant out there anymore. I want to make sure I clear any possible refrigerant that may have gotten sucked in the fresh air intake over there. Even though I, w I was in recycle, at least I was in recycle. Okay. Love experimenting on cars. Let's see, drive that up. Take a look at that. Get up there, let's get down dirty and close. There's oil in there, there's the heat eye in there, and that was the leak. Now, let's get this back out in there. Should I shut it off? No, I still have it on. Let's get that where it works. Where is it? Right. Now that's the front one. I'm having a problem. Ah, oh, there it goes. For you shop owners, service writers, service managers, don't get angry at your techs because they just filled up a system, the car drove away and you get a call that night that the AC doesn't work or the next morning the AC doesn't work because there are circumstances where under a perfect vacuum going all the way down to 900 microns it was stabling out, it does not leak under vacuum. And then while your technician, he turns on the machine, because remember the big, big dumb machine, you can walk away from it. So you set the big dumb machine, you hit your buttons, it fills up the system. It would have passed the automatic leak check. So if you have a big dumb machine and it did the automatic, uh, you know, checking for vacuum, it doesn't leak, it wouldn't leak because it did not leak under vacuum. So the big dumb machine says pass vacuum test, it's now ready to charge. So it charges. Well, the technician has left the big dumb machine because he could go do other work because his hands, his eyes weren't right there at the time. And so the big dumb machine squirts in the refrigerant and what I seen while I was standing there while I was manually putting the refrigerant, there was a two second spurt of liquid refrigerant just shooting out the side of the compressor and then immediately stopped like somebody cut off a valve. So then the technician, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, letting the machine do its work and he's off working on the brake job. And then he comes back, the machine is friends, it's time for me to start it up. So he goes and he starts up the vehicle, he tests it, the pressure goes high, and uh, the leak so seals itself. He already had UV dye in there, no UV dye came out yet. It literally sealed itself before the UV dye got to that side because it only leaked while it was charging, not while it was running. So even though the UV dye would get over here, it stopped leaking. And your technician goes along, uses his sniffer, he comes back over here, he hits every line and seam with bubbles, it passed, customer leaves, he thinks he's happy, technician thinks he made his bonus for the day, service writer, shop manager is going to get his bonus, the numbers are going up that day, owner's happy, they do all their paperwork, they had banging numbers that day, and then they get that dreaded call. My AC is not working when I started up this morning or when I got home at night because that leaks comes back at a precise certain temperature or pressure and it opens up and it releases all the refrigerant. I've seen this a thousand times. See you guys later. Feel sorry for you guys who are on bonus programs. Gotcha.